we're going to talk about is the one we most often find in the human body, and that's the third class lever. It's really easily represented if we look at our arm. The point of rotation is our elbow. The muscle attachment is our bicep, which is right here. And the load is the weight of the object in our hand. So you can see F is the point of rotation. The point of rotation from the muscle effort is small, a small lever arm, where the point of rotation to the load is big, a big lever arm. The bigger lever arm, therefore, has the mechanical advantage. When we look at our body, we can think of the fulcrum as the L5-S1 vertebrae. And the load out here is the weight of your object in your hand. So this person is going to pick up 20 pounds. Now the muscle attachment is where, where your erector spinae muscles come in contact with your spine. This lever arm is right here next to the fulcrum. So for me to pick up 20 pounds, how much muscle force do I have to contract with? So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And this is a true representation of what goes on in your spine. 110, 20, 30, oops, 40. So for me to pick up 20 pounds, my muscles have to contract with 140 pounds of force to be able to get my body to pick up that weight. That's because the distance from the fulcrum, your L5-S1 vertebrae to your muscle attachment is short, where the distance from the fulcrum to the weight in your hand is long. So now you can easily see if I can just bring the load closer to my body, then I can decrease the amount of muscle force required to move that load. The closer the load is to the L5-S1 vertebrae, the lower the force is on the spine. The further that load is away from the L5-S1 vertebrae, the higher the forces on the spine. This is our third class lever as seen in the human body. We see it almost in all our different joints. Take a look at the elbow. This allows us to be powerful and fast.